Happy Friday. Bill Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News from Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery. We got out on Main Street Breckenridge this afternoon for opening day of Oktoberfest and the ceremonial keg tapping. Already making the rounds was a group from Denver carrying on their dad's tradition. My father passed away. This is my first year. He passed the hat down to me. And in honor of him, I'm wearing it today. Sonia and Kirsten from Denver were sporting hats, suspenders, and dirndls coated with pins from Istanbul, Salzburg, Munich, and right here in Breck. They do a fantastic job bringing in authentic food and singers and the beer. It's just a good time. I mean, the spirit here is definitely of the Oktoberfest. Breck Oktoberfest continues through the weekend, open at 11 a.m. daily, closing 6 p.m. today and tomorrow and 5 p.m. Sunday. Leave your dogs at home. Today from 5 to 6.30 is a canned food drive supporting the FERC. Lauren Swanson with Oktoberfest. Bring in five non-perishable food items and you'll get a Locals limited edition Breckenridge Oktoberfest sign in exchange for your donation. Again, bring your cans at five to Blue River Plaza. A Denver nonprofit inspired by tragedy is bringing music therapy to Summit County. Crystal 93 News correspondent Matt Renew of Nine News has the scoop on KK Fearless and founder Brooke Perez. Her brother and sister struggled with addictions and lost their battles with addiction. They both passed away. But during their struggles, they found so much peace through playing musical instruments. KK Fearless takes donated instruments and passes them on to recovering addicts in Denver and soon Summit. One of the folks who benefited from it plays the drums and for him, you know, just getting on those drums and pounding away on those drums has been, he said, great for anger management and, and some of the addictions that he's been struggling with. KK Fearless is hosting a benefit concert tomorrow at 10 Mile Music Hall with help from Silverthorne Subaru and CrossFit Low Oxygen. Proceeds will pay for their new space in Frisco. Tickets are $25. Get them online at 10milemusic.com. A beloved winter rec program at Summit School District is gone but students at Breck Elementary still get out on the snow in another way. One of our big pushes here at Breck L is to um, get out into the community, for example, uh, and connect it with our curriculum. So the kindergartners, part of their curriculum is to study pushes and pulls, like forces in motion, and they went up to the ski area and learned how the lifts work and had a demonstration by some lift ops, and so they got real hands-on learning. And with with our location and our community connections, we're able to do a lot of activities like that. That was Principal and Mary Westerhoff. Vail Resorts is pumping $9 million into the Epic for Everyone program this winter. This grant program pays for lessons, equipment rentals, and meals, plus two free lift tickets for over 9,000 kids from 13 cities like Boston and Detroit. But not everyone gets Epic for Everyone. Eligible kids must come from a partner program like SOS Outreach. The Summit branch of SOS did not win a grant this year. Local fire danger remains moderate today with no fire restrictions in Summit. In sports, the Rockies open a series with the Padres tonight at 6:10. Coming up Sunday, the Broncos face the 49ers on NBC. For the first time in nearly two decades, World Cup ski jumping is coming to the U.S. this winter. Lake Placid will host a men's ski jumping World Cup in February. First Alpine World Cup is just one month away, October 22nd to 23rd, for giant slalom in Austria. And in local sports, brought to you by Red Mountain Autos. At their new location on Airport Road, Tigers Cross Country is running at Clement Park in Littleton today. Tomorrow, volleyball plays Palisade at home. Boys soccer travels to Gunnison. Rugby has an away tournament. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News from Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery.